What is up everybody, Patty Schnee here again today, back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the long-awaited single from Star Set, Manifest. And I'm not going to lie, I've been fanboying over Star Set for the past few weeks, just anxiously waiting for them to drop their first single off of their new album, and we finally got it. And man, it does not disappoint at all. I mean, there are some a few things in it. I will get to those later on in the review today, but overall, I am very satisfied with this track. Jumping in, I'd say this track gives me quite a bit of a Vessels vibe. Um, if you would have asked me a year or maybe a year and a half ago um, which album was better from Star Set, Transmissions, or Vessels, I would have told you Transmissions hands down, but now I honestly cannot decide because I used to not really like Vessels that much for their electronics, but as I listened to it more and more, I realized that the electronics are perfectly balanced out by the heavy guitars. And that's something that this song in particular does very well. It balances out the electronics with the heavy guitars. And there is a long section with the first verse and the pre-chorus that is a lot of... It's a lot of electronics, and I wasn't a huge fan of that. Um, it, it kind of threw me off because at the beginning you have the intro, beautiful intro, and then you have the heavy intro with that super creative, original sounding riff, something that Star Set has not really done before. Um, and it's a combination of, I don't even know what that sound is that's combined with the guitars, but it's, it's very original, it's very different, it's very fresh. Um, I don't know how many other words I can use to describe it as original. <laughs> um, but anyways, I, I really like how it starts out, but then it goes into that really long um, verse and pre-chorus that has a lot of electronics in it, which I wasn't a huge fan of, but I think it works very well overall with the entire song um, because it sounded kind of EDM at that part. Um, but then it gets back into the riff, it gets back into the chorus, it gets back into the meat of the song, and then you get into the bridge, and it builds up, and those heavy guitars come in, they're moving, they're riffing, and it sounds so good. I have to say, overall, I am very impressed with the mix of this song. The production aspect was very well done as well. I think this song really just hits hard in the places that it needs to. Um... On some of the tracks that I've been reviewing earlier this year, there have been songs where I listen to them and I like them. And I like the theory of the song and the idea of the song. And I really like how it sounds also, but it doesn't hit hard enough, you know? And this song from Star Set Manifest definitely does. It definitely hits hard enough. And uh, that riff, though, I mean, it repeats a lot, um, but it doesn't get stale because it's so different. You know, when I first listened to this song, I had to take a breath afterwards to realize what I was listening to. I was like, what did I just listen to? And what I did listen to was a Star Set masterpiece. Now, while I have a lot of positives, I think the mix is done very well. Um, I think his singing is done well. I think the song overall has a good theme. I really like the lyrics... I can see the darkness manifest. That hook is very well done. Because when I heard that the single was going to be called Manifest, I was like, I don't understand how he's going to do this, how he's going to make this into a song. My mom told me that Manifest is, um, the word means a log in a ship, um, like an inventory, 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 in a ship. And so I was like, I don't really know how he's going to make a song out of that. But no, that's not how he uses it here. He says, I can see the darkness manifest. Like the darkness is manifesting itself. And that's a really cool picture. And I think that sets uh, Star Set up for some good narratives in the coming future. As well as that's obviously going to set up the rest of the album and the theme of the album. Which we know now to be confirmed as Divisions is the title. So I think this is a good lead off track from Divisions. I think it works very well. Now, some of my negatives on this track, I only have really one, and I think it's that Dustin Bates' vocals are, like, way too overprocessed. In the bridge, it's so overprocessed that it basically sounds like he's singing underwater, and I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. I'm not a fan of that in the least. 
Um, it, it really just kind of threw me off. And Dustin Bates' vocals have always been kind of, I mean, not overprocessed, but they've always, you've always been able to tell that they're a little processed. Obviously, you got to put reverb on it, you got to make it fit in the mix very well. Um, but in particular, here, his vocals just sound a little too, like, you know, auto tuny. Um, and I think that the producer could have just, or the mixer could have just backed off on that a little bit. Um, that's probably my biggest negative of this track. Um, I really like this track. It did not disappoint. Um, overall, I don't think it's necessarily carnivore level. I don't think it's necessarily like frequency level. I don't... <laughs> frequency level. <laughs> Get it? I don't think it's necessarily that good yet. Although I've only listened to it about six times. So I don't necessarily know whether it's going to grow on me as well as carnivore did. Carnivore being one of my favorite Star Set songs ever. It's it's so well done. Um, but it's definitely up there. It's definitely a fresh new sound for Star Set while keeping their original sound. Um, and I absolutely enjoyed it. So overall, I'd have to give this single a 7.5 out of 10. I'm definitely envisioning that rating probably going higher in the future. That's what I'm going to give it for now. Um, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this single in the comments below, as well as, you know, how excited you are for the new album coming up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more content like this coming soon. I do track reviews. I also do album reviews as well as covers. I really like covering music on this channel. Hit me up in the comments below if you want to hear me cover a certain song, and please go check out my other songs. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace out.